Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Dear ladies and gentlemen, now my presentation is a little difficult than smart fit, distributed systems, and so on. I will increase the tension and go to the high voltage level. And the presentation will be about impact of corona age dimensions and the corona characteristics of HVDC applications. So, please. Uh, prepared my my PhD student as a result of a project with the uh, uh, Polytechnic University of Mexico. Now let me talk a little bit about the motivation behind the study. There was some attempts in Turkey in the national power transmission system to construct a new HVDC line which is about 600 kV and the length will be 1,000 kV, and we needed some tests and some design criteria. We have deal with the corona side of that transmission line and try to give some idea about the corona characteristics for the prospective line and line configurations. Although there are several similar studies in the AC side, we could not use them because of some difficulties, so we needed a new experimental study that will be carried out in a corona cage, so we first needed to design a corona cage, and that was the basic motivation behind this study. Okay. But, but the, the rent was, it's not that big, I don't know what. <laughs> That's not important. Now, uh, it's bad. now uh, a typical corona cage, if you have an idea, it has basically two parts, the measuring part and the protection guard part. We wanted to design the <coughs> dimensions in this study. And the dimensions, uh, it will be the radius of the circular ones or the side of an bigger ones. That was what we had designed at the laboratory and performed several tests with that corona cage. And uh, this size of cage will be used by conductor scale conductor models. More. And three important parameters in corona cage design are the distance between the corona cage and the inner conductor is the diameter of the side of a square, the length of the measuring segment, and the length of the quad electrons. What we did for this study is, I will skip some parts since the time is limited, and we have started with the distance between the corona cage and the conductors, there were some criteria to design it. I am skipping them. You can find them in the paper and the length of the page and the length of the quad electrodes. And the aim of the study, as we said before, to deal with the test of 500 to 600 kV bipolar <coughs> HVDC lines. We had four, uh, three prospective conductor geometries, so we have performed the test for those conductor geometries. That is the line that we want to make the uh, design the corona cage and at the right hand side you can see the field distribution of such a tower and if we look closely to the around of the quadrupole conductors it will give about a better idea about the electrical field strengths and we want to keep those field strengths under specific values at 100 kV of test voltage, the value of maximum field strengths are 
important here. So we want to design a corolla cage whose values will be more or less the same at an decreased voltage levels. Here is the effect of the here is the effect of the line uh, cage length to the electrical field strength. From this figure, we can understand that it was impossible to obtain the identical conditions with the case which are less than 15 meters of side length. That's why we needed to use the scaled conductors. And the results for the scaled conductors that we want to use in the system, if we make an analysis, we see that the guard electrode lengths, which are about 100 centimeters, will provide comparable electrical field strengths inside the corona cage. And depending upon the two dimensional simulations and the, some tests, we have seen that our cages, which have certain lengths, which is around one meter of cross section, and one meter of the guard electrode will provide similar electrical field strengths at around 200 kV, which was obtained at 600 kV in the real systems. Then the question arises if these values are correct or not. So we perform some tests, tests to test if these values are correct or not. For this purpose, we measured the corona inception voltages and corona inception gradient fields in the laboratory, and we saw the comparable values, similar values at the order. So this, uh, this reminded us that our design can be used to make the test of intermittent high voltage transmission lines, and that's all. Thank you. You were very much. Yeah. Yeah. You sure you don't want to So I, I, I can <coughs> minimize it. So I, I can. Uh, okay, I can go over the conclusions. What was the main idea of this paper? The main idea is to design a corona cage that will be capable of performing the test of two, uh, 600 kV DC systems. What type of test? Corona test, sure. And we have several alternatives that we were traditionally using in Turkey three different types of transmission lines and we designed the lengths of the cage, the lengths of the guard electrodes and the uh, side of a corona cage to satisfy the same electrical field distribution as in the practical line. From there we concluded that we can perform those tests at an reduced voltage level, which are around 200 kV, then we verify if our design is correct or not. In order to verification, we have used two tests. One of them is corona inception voltage test, and the other one is corona inception gradient test. The two tests show that our design can be used for those purposes. After those tests and after the verification, we sure conducted our research with the remaining parts of the projects and they will be the concern of the future papers. Thank you. Thank you very much.